guys, today we are talking about carb quick favorites, all while having a whole lot of fun. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I am Chris from RecipesThatCrop.com and today we are going to talk about what to do with this stuff. This is Carb Quick, which is a uh, biscuit mix substitute, or it's a biscuit mix that is um, made with low carb ingredients. And I know several of you have asked me, I bought this gigantic box because you can buy it online for, and it's like a three pound box. Now what do I do with it? You might have bought it for a single recipe and now you have a whole box of it and you want to know what to do with it. This is one of our favorite ingredients that we use um, for baking when it comes to low carb. Um, it has a similar texture and taste as what uh, Bisquick does, for example. It, um, it doesn't taste exactly the same, but it does have more of a Bisquick-like texture and taste than, say, recipes that use almond flour or coconut flour and those kinds of dishes. Now, we do dishes that have that as well, but this video is dedicated to what to do with this box once, you're, once you have it purchased. Now, one of the great things, uh, first of all, this is not sponsored at all. These folks don't know me. I just like using this as a quick and easy ingredient in my kitchen. Um, and one of the really cool things about uh, them is both the inside and the outside of the box are covered with recipes. Now we use some of the recipes that are on here, um, but not all. And we've altered a couple of the recipes from here quite a bit to make them our own and really add some flavor to it. So I just wanted to kind of talk through a little bit of that. Um, one of the things that we do that I don't have a recipe on um, the site is we do their pancakes. Um, as it's listed on the side and it does make a nice fluffy pancake um, one of the things we love to do to make them extra special is Mike and I like blueberry pancakes so we'll add just a handful of blueberries um, we'll make the pancake mix and we'll pour the pancakes and then we will add the blueberries instead of adding the blueberries to the batter we will add them while it's on the griddle um, Miss Ad likes hers with sugar-free um, uh, chocolate chips, um, and then we've also made it for her. She likes she doesn't like blueberry pancakes. She prefers other flavors. So we've uh, crushed up um, fresh raspberries and sprinkled on there too, and she likes it that way too. So that is one of the things that we definitely use. Um, but I wanted to go through some of the recipes that are on our website that you guys may or may not know already. And so we have a couple different categories. We have uh, sweets that we can make with it. We have some staples that we have in our, that we use um, to make other things. And then we have our biscuits and bakes, the kind of things that you would typically grab Bisquick for if you're not eating low carb um, and we're going to use this as a substitute. So with that said, let's start with some sweet treats that we like to make with Carb Quick. And first and foremost, probably the thing we make the most is our low carb strawberry shortcake. We have a crock pot version of that. And then we also have an air fryer version of that. So you can do it either way. You can make it in your oven as well. I will tell you, I prefer the texture the most from the crock pot version. I will, in a pinch, use my air fryer. I love it. In a pinch, I'll use my oven. Um, but I really, really enjoy how moist the shortcake stays from our crock pot version. So if you're trying it for the first time, that's the version I would give you a recommendation to start with. Along those same lines, one of my favorite things before going low carb was a really good coffee cake. And I would make a Bisquick version of coffee cake 
uh, often for special occasions and those kinds of things. So it wasn't long once I realized what, what this ingredient could do that I started working on and perfecting what my family enjoys as our low carb coffee cake. It is definitely a treat, not something we're eating all the time, but I do hear murmurs in my family that it reminds them of brown sugar pop tarts. So, and it does kind of have that flavor to it. So that's definitely something you might want to check out if you have a big old box of this and you're not sure what to do with. Um, a couple staples that we keep around the house. Um, I almost always have um, our breading mix that we traditionally use on our fried chicken um, that we use making this. We've altered what they have on um, the side as their breading mix. We've altered a little bit and we use that to make our air fryer fried chicken all the time. Super, super yummy. We also use that breading whenever we are making um, fried zucchini in a skillet. Um, I don't have a recipe up for that yet. If you guys want a recipe for that, let me know and we'll, we'll work that into the channel sometime. But we love fried zucchini that way as a special treat as well. And so the breading mix uh, on the website um, is definitely something we, it is a staple we keep on hand all the time. Along those same lines, we are big pizza lovers in this family. And so the way that we make low carb pizza, we've been through everything. We tried the cauliflower crust when we first went low carb and they were okay. We would order those online and that kind of thing. For a long time, I used the, what's called the fathead crust. I really do enjoy the fathead crust, especially if you add some Italian seasoning to it. But the fathead crust is kind of a pain to make, especially when we are on the road, um, because it involves melting a mozzarella cheese and mixing it at the perfect time and getting the dough just right before you then uh, cook it. And then I would have to kind of bake it in my Ninja and I when we were when we're on the road so it just wasn't exactly the most ideal of pizza crust so I whenever we discovered this uh, I decided I was going to kind of start playing with and create our pizza crust recipe and so that's what we did we created a pizza crust recipe that has some seasonings in it that gives it a lot of good flavor to it it is by no means like a pizzeria style pizza crust by any means, but it is by far the best low carb pizza crust that we've had um, and that we regularly enjoy to have pizza while staying on track, um, low carb. Um, now let's talk about some um, biscuits and bakes. So Cheddar Bay biscuits, that is making a savory biscuit with, with this is one of my favorite things. I do different kind of flavors depending on, but on the website we have our Cheddar Bay biscuit mix that we put together and then we make it in the air fryer um, for our air fryer biscuits and it's so good. It, it has that nice cheddar flavor to it, the garlic flavor, it is perfect as a side treat um, to your dinner. So if you miss Cheddar Bay biscuits or if you miss kind of a savory bread at dinner, that might be something that you might be interested in. For breakfast, uh, prior to going low carb, I was a big biscuits and gravy fan. That would be what I would get no matter what kind of breakfast uh, place we would go to. And um, I missed it when we started going low carb. So when I figured out that I could make a biscuits and gravy casserole using this, I was in heaven and so we have what we enjoy on a regular basis as a special breakfast for the family um, we make it both in the air fryer we also have an oven version that you guys uh, will definitely want to check out if you're biscuits and gravy fans and you're missing it you can totally make a biscuits and gravy casserole with this um, it is so so good last but not least we have another casserole. It is our broccoli cheese bake. And this is something that is a cross between kind of a vegetable, um, cheesy side, and a little bit of a savory bread. 
It slices up very nicely and can be served with a spatula. And it is something that we love to have around holiday time to kind of replace some of those traditional carb-loaded casseroles that you'll sometimes see around, um, around the holidays. So this is one of those dishes that we love to take to potlucks and both carb lovers and uh and low carb folks have all have all enjoyed it so that is our broccoli cheese bake so i'm curious do you have carb quick and is there something specific that you like to make with it um i'd love to hear down below is there something you'd love to see us work on um creating a crock pot air fryer or electric pressure cooker recipe around and we'll try and do that as well um, but um, if you like this video, I'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a member of the Crock Posse, click subscribe down below and you'll become a member of our slow cooking family around here. Um, if you'd like notified every time we upload a video, click the ding -a -ling. That's the notification bell and that tells YouTube that you'd like to know every time we upload a new video. But whatever you do, we hope you laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye guys. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.